Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Google Chromecast 4K. We're going to open it up, see what's inside, then hook it up, see what it's all about. Stay tuned, it's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So now that we have everything out of the box, we could take a look and see that we have the Google Chromecast 4K dongle, set of batteries, small remote, power brick, and then we also have an HDMI cable. Let's take the time now, let's hook it up to the TV, see how it is to set it up, and see how it performs. We'll be right back. Hi everybody, so now we got it all hooked up to the TV. When I said that cable was an HDMI cable, my error, that is the power source cable. So I've given it a minute to go ahead and boot up, and it will go ahead and move on. After the splash screen for the Google Chromecast goes away, another screen will come up and it'll say pair in your remote. Give that a couple of seconds, then we'll bring you to the screen where it says welcome. Choose the language that you need to use. I'm going to choose English. Now, set up with the Google Home app. Download and open the Google Home app on your phone to get started. When instructed in the app, scan the QR code. You can do it this way, or if you want, go ahead, click down to the bottom where it says set up on the TV instead. May take longer and require some typing. I'm going to go ahead and choose this option. When I choose this option, it's going ahead, it's going to bring you to your Wi-Fi. Go ahead and type in your Wi-Fi information. And then I'll come back. Once you have connected to your Wi-Fi, it's going to go ahead and say that you are connected. All those little color symbols are going to line up in a row. It's going to move you on to the next step where it says downloading system update. Chromecast will restart soon. Let's give it a minute and it will be able to move on. Once the update has finished downloading, it will go ahead and start to install itself automatically. Now that the system has done the update and has installed it, now we come back because it's being rebooted. After your Google Chromecast has rebooted itself, it's going to ask you to go ahead and sign in to your Google account. I am going to do that now. Once you put your email address in and your password, next screen is going to come up and you go ahead and click on accept. Click on I agree. And go ahead to use your location. I'm going to say no. I'm going to turn it off, help improve, I'm going to uncheck that, turn it off, and then I'm going back up and click it on accept. I'm going to say no thanks right now. Google Assistant, go ahead, click on continue. Search across your TV apps. To do this, allow it to share your request with your TV apps. Right now, I'm going to say no thanks. Your next screen comes up. It says choose your subscriptions. I'm going down. I'm going to choose on Disney Plus. Then I will go ahead and confirm. While the Disney Plus app is being installed, it moves you on to the next screen where it says set up remote. Go ahead and click on set up remote. Go ahead and click on TV, Samsung TV, and now we have to find out if I hear the music or not. Go to click on next. Point your remote at the TV and toggle the volume up and down, which is on the side of the remote. So I'm going to do that now. Did the volumes work? Yes, it did. Now a screen will come up and you could get personalized recommendations from across your streaming services. Go ahead, use your directional pad. Click over to the right, and here you'll see you'll get a lot more options that you can choose on what you want to do with your Google Chromecast. Keep going over to the right. Cast videos, music, and more from your phone, which is very good to do. Just keep moving over to the right. Once your app has finished downloading, now it's going to come up and say, Add and Finish and Touches. Let's give it a minute, and then the screen will move on. Your Chromecast with Google TV is ready. Start exploring. Go ahead and click on the Enter button. Now here we are on the home page. 
Once you're on the home page, go all the way up to the top, go all the way over to the right and click on it. Once you click on it, click on settings. Once you're in settings, go down to where it says system. Then you need to scroll over to the right and click on about. As you can see, Android TV OS version 12, which is running the latest version of Android OS. Let's scroll down just a little bit more to where it says Android TV OS build. Let's click on that about several times so that way we can put the device into developer mode. Now you've seen the message that came up and says you are now a developer. Let's go ahead and click on the back button. So now that we're on the home screen, let's go ahead and scroll down. Let's go to where it says YouTube. Let's go ahead and click on YouTube. Let's find a 4K video so we can see how it plays. Right here, the most colorful nature in real 4K. Let's go ahead and click on that. Let's give it a minute to load up and see how it plays. Here you see the video has great quality and is playing in 4K. Let's go ahead now, click back onto the home button. Click it one more time, click home again. If you want to go ahead and add the app called Downloader, this is what you need to do. Go on top to where it says for you. Hold in to where you can go ahead and speak into your Google Chromecast remote. Download an app. Give it a minute, comes up. Right here you see it says Downloader. You go ahead and you click on it and then click on Install. I hope you find this video very helpful to you. I hope you do enjoy it. It is a very good system. I am not associated with Google Chromecast in any way. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell so that way you see when other videos come up. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.